Hey, Matthew Swinnerton here with Event Santa Cruz, and I am here with... Rachel Barnes of Human Shaped Animal Art. Thank you so much, Rachel, for taking the time to do an interview of with course, us today. thank you. So, what kind of artwork? When someone asks, like, what kind of art? I feel that's like a tough question, but yeah, but what kind of artwork do you do? Yeah, <laughs> I've gotten that enough where I, like, kind you know of an have answer. formed, yeah. like, an that's answer kind of, to it. Yeah, it shouldn't I even be a like, question. Well, let's see. Yeah. Um, so, if I had to describe it, it would be um, very geometrically inspired. Also, tons of nature, um, and recently I've been getting more into like bold shapes, okay. and more like the design rather than the like expression of it. So, what kind of like what kind of mediums do you use? Uh, so it's all acrylic, so painting. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then recently I have actually intertwined painting and actual nature. Okay. So I've been creating these art planners where oh. there is a painting and then an actual succulent or some type of plant yeah. that lives in the painting. It's, that is so yeah. cool. So it's kind of like a, a melding of two, of two different worlds. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and you also do murals. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, what kind of murals do you do? I mean, are these like, it got, and I've seen like one got on Water Street. Is that where it is? Water? Yeah. And, so, yeah. Um, River and water. Yeah, river and water. Yeah. yeah. I mean, are they usually that large of murals? So really, that's my first one of okay. like that scale. I've done like other ones that are much, much smaller, mm -hmm. but like that was, that's like that's my, pretty, I feel yeah. like that's my first step really into that world. Mm -hmm. And hopefully that will open no more, more doors yeah. to it. Because right. working in, in that size is, I don't know, that's yeah. like a dream for a painter, yeah. I feel like, at least my dream. Um, especially because I feel like with murals, you're able to just like go crazy. Like, yeah. When I have to think of designs that I'm doing for paintings, I have to be like, well, this has to live in someone's house. Yeah. Like you have to make it a little more like versatile where it can be like match things. Um, however, with a mural, it's just like, this, yeah, do it. Like just go for it. Which you did. I mean, like this mural has so many elements to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not just like one thing. Yeah. Unless, am I wrong? No, no, yeah. you're totally right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's completely. Yeah. yeah. Um, so let's, let's step back a little bit. I want to find out like, how did you become an artist? Like, I knew we were just like, as a kid, like I just loved to finger paint and I kept mm -hmm. on progressing. Um, I mean, cause you support yourself with your art, right? Yes, at least I not, try to. Yeah, yeah no. <laughs> you know? it's not easy, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, how do you got, I feel like you got to the point where you actually can support yourself and do it, and actually you're a full-fledged artist. Yeah, Thank you. yeah. Um, so I've always done art. Okay. Um, but then, you know, I teetered off a little bit throughout school. Um, the end of high school, I got really back into it. And then actually going into, I went to art school, Okay. but originally I was like, no, I'm not going to art school. Like <laughs> yeah. everyone's like art school, like that's such like a waste of time. Art what are you going to do afterwards? Yeah. Like, what does that <laughs> yeah. lead to? Yeah. <laughs> um, and so I actually was going to school for early childhood education. Okay. And I realized like, I, I can't be with children okay. eight hours a day, <laughs> like that long. And I took a, I took a painting class or a, a drawing class as just a gen ed. Okay. And I was like, this is this yeah. is where I need to be. So I switched it to an art major, and so I have um, I have a degree in painting and then digital design. Oh, wow. um, and then after I graduated, I like really didn't know what I was doing because it's kind of like for me personally, I've kind of had to like just make it up as I go along. There's no like guidelines. It's yeah. like okay, you go to art school, then you take this job, and that leads to this, and this leads to that. Yeah. It's kind of like I'm just gonna <laughs> go with the flow. So really, I think. Um, Coming to Santa Cruz, I moved to Santa Cruz yeah. a year and a half ago now. From where? Um, I was living in upstate New York just for a small period of time. I was doing like um, a live-in work kind of situation, okay. um, but I'm originally from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Okay. Um, and so moving to Santa Cruz kind of, it just kind of like opened that up more, the art world. It's yeah. The community here has been super yes. yeah. like accepting, um, met a lot of cool people to yeah. like kind of start networking yeah. with. Um, and yeah, and that the mural happened. Yeah. And so basically it's it's still progressing. Like I still have like my part-time job, so I'm still doing both. But, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I feel like you're just a creative person that always like, I feel like you, you want to produce things or like, you know, just like your artwork. Yeah. Um, I, when I, when I think of you, my first initial impression was on Instagram you were doing the um what do you do with like the hoops the, the hoops yeah, yeah what so is, yeah. um yeah just I I love to dance okay. um 
But growing up, I always was in sports and everything, so I never like did dance. Yeah. And then I found, I saw someone hooping like, I don't know, six years ago or so, and I was like, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> um, and so I kind of tie it to my art a little bit. It, like for me, it kind of makes sense. Yeah. Where it's like this combination of like flowing, like yeah. just intuitive flow. It's very, yeah. You just let it go. And like also very kind of like shape, shapes. There's shapes within yeah. it too that you're creating. Um, and yeah, so that's like my other creative yeah. source. That's like some people are like, are creatives and they like just want to like show something off to the world. I don't know. Just like it is. I, I, you have so many different elements of your art. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, and just so I don't forget. So if someone wants to see like some of your videos of you hooping, uh -huh. that's what it's called. Yeah. Our, our work. Um, where do they go? Uh, well, Instagram? you can go to my Instagram, yeah. Human Shaped Animal. Okay, um, that's also, easy. Human Shaped Animal. Yeah. My website is also humanshapedanimal.com. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay. So, last question: What gets you excited when you wake up in the morning? Uh, just to create. It's mm. I've, I've been, I feel very fortunate mm. that I can like wake up and be like, today is just I'm just I get to just play. It's good playing for me. Really, a lot of people like they have to go to like this nine to five <sighs> job where they're like typing or something. You actually get to like make something. Exactly, yeah. and like it helps because um, two of the three of my roommates also mm. paint. Okay, so like we good. we're like, all right, let's drink yeah. our coffee. <laughs> Put on some music yeah. and like let's just make stuff. And especially with these, um, with the planters that I've been making, I have a membership at the Idea Fab Labs. Yes, and yeah. that's why I've been able to do laser cutting, which kind of opened up the whole other. The whole, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I've been exploring more and more with that. So mm -hmm. things are constantly evolving. Right, so yeah. there's like still a lot to figure out in that realm. Yeah, and so that's yeah, what keep, it's that's just, what keeps it's it interesting. The unknown. For you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I guess. So if somebody wants to see more of your artwork and everything, um, you, there's a website, right? Yep, humanshapedanimal.com. Yeah. yeah, and if they were on this website, they could probably buy a shirt like the one you're wearing. Yes, yeah, <laughs> so I kind of have branded myself as Human Shaped Animal. I, a prof, my sociology professor in college said it in a sentence, okay. like he said, we're all human shaped animals, and, some, and for some reason I like, yeah. like, yeah, that's me, that's me. <laughs> that's and uh, yeah, and so I kind of, if you do see my artwork around town or yeah. in shows it's usually under like human shaped animal or it has hsa which is i've kind of like this is like my logo yeah. i guess like on yeah. the mural it has those those mm -hmm. symbols and whatnot yeah. um so yeah awesome cool okay well thank you so much for um spending some time with us we love your yeah. artwork and everybody go to that website go to instagram <laughs> she is amazing thank you Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, and you want to see more, why don't you subscribe to our channel? We would really appreciate it. And also, make sure you turn on your notifications, because then if you do, you'll be the first one to actually see our video. And lastly, again, if you like the video, why don't you like the video? Okay, thank you very much.